Hey everyone, so uh, I ordered uh, one of these uh, boat navigation, uh, it's an all-around stern light. I'm going to replace the one that I have currently on my boat. Uh, the one that I have on my boat, it's about uh, four feet long and it's just too big. Um, it's been on the boat for a very long time and um, so I figure it's time to replace it. Um, ordered this one off of eBay, um, I can put the link um, down below, so that way if you guys are interested in it. Um, it's about two feet long and uh, has one of these plastic housings. It, uh, it unscrews at the bottom. It comes with the mounting base with the wires already attached. And it also comes with the hardware, the three screws needed to screw this back to the base. So I'm going to uh, get all this together. I'm going to show you when I pull the old one out and um, how this is installed. Um, it's a cheap fix um, if you need an extra one. So stick with me and uh, we'll go through and see how it all works out. It doesn't look that complicated. You have to get your positive and your negative from your old light. And again, my old light, it's uh, every bit of 34 years old. It's cracked. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So, um, and this one, like I said, it has the mount and um, it has the end. And the funny thing is, is there are no threads. I thought there were threads on here, but I don't know if you can see that, how it's kind of, this is actually oblong. So when you twist it, it kind of locks in there. It locks in the base. So what I have to do is check my positive and negative, which I'm pretty sure I know which one's which. Well, okay. I guess it's a good thing that we're checking this, right? So I got a couple tools here. So I have the mount, got a pair of snippers, got a pair of crimps, got a Phillips head screwdriver, I got some drill bits. Of course, a cordless drill. Cordless drill. Um, the kit came with these four or three screws and these uh, looks like heat shrink uh, crimps to go over the wires. But I'm just going to double check the wires. Um, just to make sure positive and negative. I don't think. Um, the light is LED, but these really suck. All right, got it. So got a red light. That's good. Before I go any further sure that these don't touch. I'm going to put these crimp connectors on. One, there's two. So the next thing that I need to do, make sure that this is positioned correctly. Uh, I'll have to go back in and push those back out. Mark some holes. Apparently, I have one, two, three. I can kind of fit in there. I think I can get one of the holes to to line up, and then I'll have to drill that one and that one. So I would just mark it. Thing. 
Nah, I think I'm going to mark all three and just redrill all three. These screws. Make sure the wires are out of the way. Now I gotta fish out the wires. That was easy. Lucky for me, these are still zip tied together, so fairly easy to push them up. I said gray. I will say, probably a positive is that these wires come pre-tinned so that they won't fray. But I'm going to strip off just a little bit more. Okay, last thing to do is plug it in, uh, there's a hole, oh, so the screw lines up to the back, it should just go in, and there you go. So the good news is, is you can also Take this out, and if you have to, that's a replacement bulb. Just looks like a regular push-in socket. I'll probably upgrade that one to LED, but it works. Get it all together. I'm gonna wrap that up with some tape, heat shrink that. It should be good.
Okay. And there you go. All done.